In this video, let's understand um, practically about how to create a storage account using Azure CLI. And in that process, we will understand the basic command structure and uh, for and the steps we use to create a storage account using CLI. So here I have uh, in my account, I have the basic resource group that uh, are created or managed. Now, in this exercise, what we want to do is create a new resource group, followed by we'll create a storage account and execute two commands to create a resource group and to list the existing resource group. Finally, we will create a storage account. So here I have um, Azure CLI command prompt with Azure CLI installed. Look at my previous video uh, to understand how to install and configure Azure CLI. You'll have to ensure you have logged into your account using the AZ uh, login command uh, for you to continue with this exercise. Now, in order to create a new resource group, the command is AZ space group. Uh, when I'm basically specifying the resource group, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm basically specifying that I'm working on the resource group, and then I have to specify the command, which is create, followed by the name of my resource group. I'm going to call it as uh, AZ CLI, and then specify uh, or execute the command. So if you're missing any parameter out of uh, the command, it would give you the error. In my case, I'm missing the location, so I'm going to specify East US, and then ask it to go ahead and run the command. So this time, it would create me a resource group in East US. So if you just refresh, it would take a few seconds to come up here. apply so I have the Azure CLI which is created so through this command uh, where I specify the name of the resource group and the location I was able to create a resource group now I will create a storage account uh, in the in this same specific resource group so the command to create a new storage account is AZ space storage which is the group and the subgroup is account and I'm trying to create a new resource group, new new storage account in the resource group uh, uh, resource group uh, which is rg hyphen azure cli and the name of my resource group is uh, name of my storage account is stg azure cli child I'm just adding this to make it very unique uh, it, it, the storage name should be unique across the uh, subscription so I'm trying to make sure it is unique and I can also specify the location here East US now here the resource group name and uh, name of the storage account is mandatory the location is may not be so once I say go ahead and run this command uh, it would begin so probably there is a Typo, it is AZ CLI. So the name of the resource group is AZ CLI, and then go ahead and run. It would now create the storage account with the name STG AZ CLI Chai. So it is just started to run the command, and uh, it would take almost the same time as it would take when you create through PowerShell or create through the portal. And uh, let's wait for this command to complete and go back and see how to and see that the storage account is created and running. So here it says the sec it was successful, the storage account was successful, the access share is hot, and it has picked up the default values or default settings for whichever I have not provided. Now, if I just refresh in this resource group, it, maybe in a few seconds we will be able to see. Uh, the storage account. Go back here, refresh. So here I have the storage AZCLHI, which is created. It is created in East US. 
in Azure CLI, which I have. So this is a basic command that you can, basic way for you to create a resource using Azure CLI and various commands. And in the real world, we will have a PowerShell script or we will have a script file, which will have all these commands run in a sequential manner. And the, the varying values will be part of a variable file or an input parameter that you can pass while executing the script that you are running. So, but uh, what you have done here is to create a resource group, create a, create a storage account, pass uh, the mandatory properties as well as a couple of optional values so that you can go ahead and create a resource group and a storage account. And in that process, understand how Azure CLI works and the command structure works.